got a lot of gold ore slabs left to do. So I'm going to get those going and show you those. Some of these are already looking pretty sweet. With the jasper in there and everything, so... here with this like I've got this one I haven't done this one's looking like it might be kind of crazy but brittle I want to do this one this one looks weird this one looks a little bit softer but I'm still gonna do it because there's quartz on this side and I'm gonna go deeper Maybe a little deeper into this one. <laughs> Ooh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, going on. Because it might, more uh, awesomeness might be um, in the middle of the rock. So that one's that one's really cool. Jasper, Jasper running through it. So I'm gonna keep making some slabs. I'm gonna get them wet to show you guys. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. I'm gonna show you guys what happens uh, or what it might look like polished. All right, stay tuned. Happens with this one. All right, so let's take a look at some of this ore here. Still more to cut and more awesomeness, but I got some slabbed up here and some rough. You wouldn't be able to tell from the outside, except for maybe this. I think there's quartz and calcite growing in there, but boom. I cracked this rock open, getting it ready for the jaw crusher. And found this on the, in the middle. Looking pretty good. And on the outside here. I think the gold and the calcopyrite are related. Uh, my theory is the it's liberated once away from the calcopyrite. Here's an interesting uh, piece here. Here's another cool piece. It's got some shiny in there. All right, let's get to the into some slabs. I'll, I'll probably slab this one and this one later. This looks cool. Nice looking piece there. Nice. Some more in there. Alright, that's that one. shiny in there this one I can't really see anything going on here look at and cut pretty crazy piece 
I think it's in there somewhere. Couldn't really see it on this one. Definitely high grade copper in here. Super high grade oxide. Um, this one's just awesome. Looks like you got either a little chalco pyrite or gold sitting in there. Like I said, I think it's interlinked and the gold just needs to be liberated out of there. And that's where it's coming from. Occasionally find it just hanging out in the white stuff, the quartz, but usually it's in the mineralized areas. Hanging out with the chalcopyrite, just hanging out on the chalcopyrite sofa. Let's see here. Yeah. Like there, that's more iron pyrite. Like right there, it's not as bright. Let's see. There's another really cool piece of um, copper going through there with a nice chunk of shiny in there. It, it, it gets really fine when you break it up though. So those are all tiny particles that become not microscopic, but very fine when you break it up out of the quartz right there. And once again, it's hanging out in, it's kind of hanging out in the Jasper on that one. Really cool. Let's see what else we got here. I did quite a few of them. Ooh, this one's nice. A little bit right there. Right there. And right there. We're gonna have to get down on the uh, microscope, I'm thinking. All right, let's see what I got in this one. This one, you can see the differ difference, or it differentiates between pyrite and possibly gold in there. This is the darker stuff. You can see it's like really dark, but it's still shiny. And then I think there's probably maybe a boronite aspect to it. Um, so boronite, chalcopyrite, and gold. Right in there. We'll have some of these slabs up for sale on eBay. There, right there. Yeah, this one. No, this one is just like a, like you can make a cab out of it or something. The Jasper and Quartz, really cool. And this big old, big old honker. Um, you can see little bit, little pieces on this side, if you can spot them. Let me know if you can spot them in there. But it kind of comes out with this Jasper banding, like there's, uh, more to the story here with this deposit. Once the, uh, quartz was broken up through faulting. Then if we look at this side, flip it around, there's just so much going on with the, uh, I think that's gold in there. Locked up with, uh, I mean, possibly free mill, most <clears throat> some of that, maybe not all of it. But it's pretty dang yellow. 
in some parts not so much and then some parts are so that's why I think it's kind of sitting sitting on top or within within the uh, chalca pyrite but some some pieces are definitely more yellow than others and pop out in the shade so And it comes all the way down. You can see it. This is more of a uh, different different color, like a pyrite, but very yellow in there. It's really weird. So there's, there's gold just kind of hanging out. It goes all the way through here, all the way. Super cool. So yeah, I'll throw these up for sale on a, on the eBay store. Swoop them up while I've got them. They take a while to cut. As you've seen in my other videos, they, they take about an hour per slice. It's really hard stuff being that it's quartz. Um, man, it just pops out. The problem is it can't stop looking at it. You're like, whoa, that's really shiny. So, yeah, with the copper in there, very cool. You may definitely make a cabochon like out of that right there. That'd be nice. You probably wouldn't want to keep this host unless you found something in there that I'm not seeing, which is a possibility because I've seen I've seen gold in the in the white stuff, um, just hanging out like not anywhere near this mineralized area just if I get lucky and if it is it seems like if it is in the white um, if the gold stuck in here if it seems like it's like more pure and super bright super yellow and free mill looking compared to the uh, The gold that's kind of like like this one okay this one is really nice there's a nice shiny piece in there but but some of it is kind of intertwined and probably like locked up in sulfides a little bit but at times i do i you know like last video i found it just hanging out in the uh the white part a big piece of it and like this right here Let's get this wet, this rough. It's hanging out in the mineralized area, big time. So, stay tuned, we're gonna go through some methods on uh, crushing and extracting all the way from the old school to the new school. I've got a, uh, <laughs> nice slab going on here, so. So I just usually do my shade test. And that one's looking like it might be passing. The shade test. Pretty bright, pretty bright. I'm liking it. I'm I'm gonna say it's passing. Maybe not pure gold, but you know this is uh, usually the way the cookie crumbles. It's gold's usually associated with a sulfide. Noise.
be interesting to see if it um, gets a little bit more pure the deeper we go or less oxidized and more sulfidized. So it's yellow, not super yellow. Do I think it's nothing but chalco pyrite? No, because if it were, I think we would see more oxidation going on uh, of the copper. And I don't really see any of that around there. Like this one looks looks this looks pretty nice. Still a really cool cool piece, a gold ore slab, a uh, conversation piece on this one. Nice thick piece too. Be a really nice display piece. Maybe polish that up. This is dry now.